Welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Shana and today I am back with another video and I am going to create a pride look as this is a pride month and for the look I am going to use this palette right here. So before I start the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button so you are a part of the golden fam and without further ado let's get into the video. This beautiful palette is from e.l.f. This is with the collaboration of and I don't know how to pronounce that so I'm really sorry but I hope you have already seen so many reviews of this palette. I actually bought this palette thinking that I'm going to review this and also I'm going to create a beautiful pride look for this month. So if I open the palette this is how it looks like inside and as you can see these are this is not a typical elf palette it looks expensive it feels expensive and this is how it looks like if when i open and it comes with it comes with this sticker you can actually customize this palette using these stickers they have so many of them here and i'm really loving the idea of the palette so far so let's get what's inside and this is how the palette looks like inside and as you can see these are all rainbow shades and also if you can see what they did is they created the shadows together so if you want to create a red look you can use this part and like so on i am really in love with this conception how you know beautifully they created the palette and as soon as i got this palette i was like really obsessed just looking at it yeah also this one has a mirror which i really love i love every palette with mirror because i don't wanna hold any extra mirror when i'm working with it i can just hold this and work with this which is really good they have two rows for the matte eyeshadows and they have one row of metallic eyeshadow and they have all the names here which is pretty good i'm like I cannot believe how much I'm impressed with how everything is so organized. If you want to see all the swatches, I'm not going to swatch everything. If you want to see the swatches, you should check out my Instagram which I'll be linked right here. And if you can see, I have swatched three of them and they're really pigmented. So as I am really impressed with the pigmentation on my hand and also with all the organized packaging, of course i can't judge a book by its cover so let's do the application process and then i'm going to show you the final thought how it's been you'll be seeing like a rainbow kind of color so watch the full video so i have actually finished up my this eye it looks really weird when i <laughs> turn over but like i have finished up this eye so now i'm going to show you all on this part of my eyes how i create it this pride look full of colors i actually started from my inner corner then i went to my outer corner and for my inner corner i used this four shimmer shade to work right here as you can see these are all shimmery so i'm taking the shimmer colors in this morphe m124 i'm kind of mixing the colors together and packing this right here and if you can see it's kind of greenish so whenever it will like become too greenish i'm going to take the this these two colors which is firefly and the tusky to tone down the color you know because i really want like all this color to show up not only the green i'm gonna take too little of green and more of this you know yellow golden kind of shade and I'm putting it all over my inner corner I'm not keeping anything empty I just turned down the ring light of mine so the colors are more visible on my eyes 
and these shades are really pigmented if you can see i have not used any any setting spray as you can see these are really pigmented and i'm really loving how everything is working here and now i'm going to take the shade shade right amount of purple and i'm putting right beside the shimmer shadows and i'm trying to make this part this lower part really really dark rather than the upper part and like i know it looks kind of messy right now but it will all come together like this one after i blend everything together so after packing this and i actually used a morphe m506 brush to pack this color right here and then i'm taking this lavish eye shading brush i'm taking the blue shade which is called cannoli and i'm placing that just beside the purple eyeshadow and this one i'm i'm actually bringing further right here and i am taking this and putting right under my lash line just like this and i know it looks actually like really messy now i'm going to work on it i'm taking this fluffier brush and this is from profusion and i'm gonna slightly blend these two shadows together like this does not have any eyeshadows and I'm just going to blend this and while I'm blending you can see the shadows are really fading and the and that's what you want to create the fading mode so you can go go and you know put more shadows and do the fading so it like at the end of the time it will look really vibrant And again going over these shadows so I can blend and get the perfect color I want it to achieve. Everything is on your blending process. And as you can see right now how it actually gave me the faded ever look and now I'm just going to put some like extra eyeshadows right here so it looks really dark and it, this part looks dark and this part actually looks faded away i'm trying to blend right here and the next shade i'm going to take this green shade this is called picky and i'll put that just beside the other color and i'll bring that over here and if it goes over that it's fine because when we blend it will eventually go over that anyway and again i'm going to take this fluffy brush and i'm going to blend the green shades with the blue one and right here i'm going to do really like rough blending to create that faded have a look yeah this is how far i want the green shade to be now i'm going to take the yellow shade and i'm going to put that right beside everything is like right beside the color then i'm taking this fluffy brush to make the faded our look with this this yellow shade i'm actually bringing the yellow shade over here to create the faded outlook right here too and i'm trying to bring it more farther than the other colors so i'm again going with the yellow shade and slightly blending it out now i'm going to take this orange shade and after that i'm going to take this red maroon kind of shade and i'm putting it right over here just under the yellow shade and at the last i'm taking that 
maroon color which is called Casey and I'm actually bring it right here and taking connecting with the other colors now it all came together so yeah this is kind of what i was looking for so just like this i know it looks a little bit much but that's how the bright colors are so so i'm as this part of my face is like you know golden kind of color i'm taking uh, this color this is called the fierce using it as like my highlighter you know it gives the highlighter golden look but like it blends with everything I'm going to bring the green and the blue eyeshadow over here these are like if you can see the whole look these are really pigmented eyeshadow like I cannot describe enough how pigmented they are I am taking again the firefly as my inner corner highlight and this color is really bold so yeah this is kind of the final look and I'm going to be back with my eyelash on so I am back with my eyelash on and this actually looks pretty good in my opinion what you think leave me comment down below and I am actually using this Profusion Cosmetics Waterproof Shade Stick and for my lower lash line I'm going to use the Lily Lashes Tripo Mascara I got this in my boxy charm and I really loved it so I am using it again for complete this look I am vibing this is how I wanted this to turn out and I'm really glad that it turned out really well so this is the final look you guys and I hope everyone enjoyed the video this was a fun video for me and I really enjoyed it while making the eye look I hope you all did too if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button so you are a part of the golden fam check out the video I'm gonna put right here so so I'll see you guys next time bye